Rightio, so last night I was sitting up and I was a bit uh, just trying to work out a new strategy for today. So I walked through some of the gankiest floodplain you've seen and I'm just getting to the edge of the area that I was looking forward to and I get this big clunk. <laughs> that is a lovely piece of gold. So yeah, it's just tell, telling the boys, I sort of uh, worked on the periphery, but I haven't really found a really big patch yet myself. So I said, I'm heading, I'm heading north. <laughs> Let's hope this turns out to be a big patch and not just a, uh, what we call an emu nugget, just sitting by itself in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I don't believe that. We haven't found any species, right? Power. So you go through there, and I reckon someone else has probably kicked this out of the way just thinking it's a, a, just a rock. Have a look at the end there. And it's an absolute, when I say it's a screamer. Huh? Which you wonder what else is in there. Potentially how big that is. So it's the first specimen. Very, very interesting, that one. Mm. I just thought it was going to be a bit of rubbish.
Rightio, quick um, gold wire today because we only found the first bit, which is point, there you go, point 0.47, and then the specimen, which, take it out so you can actually see it in the sun a little bit. It's a lot more spectacular here. So you've got the gold coming out here, which probably somewhere between half a gram and 1.5, I reckon. Beautiful quartz, coloration through the quartz, and just a bit of the ironstone staining at the top of it. Ripper. Um, I'm going to leave that in that state because I reckon that looks fantastic. And um, yeah, we don't get, haven't got any species out here, so. And it's probably because how violent it is out here in terms of the uh, just the conditions so there you go